Beloved in Christ, we thank our Heavenly Father for taking care of us and always being there for us. Oh, what a loving Father we have. Do you really believe that when you pray, you are speaking to a loving Father who delights to hear you and who cares for your needs? Many Christians, even though they attend church services and are involved in numerous Christian activities, have still been successfully deceived by the devil to make them have a false notion about our Heavenly Father. Many of us think of a wicked father who kills his children when they misbehave. We tend to think that it is only Jesus who loves us, so most of our songs even speak only about the love of Christ. But the love of the Father is seen in Jesus Christ, and Scripture also tells us more of the love of God the Father. In the book of John chapter 3 verse 16, we are told, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. This tells us of the great love our Heavenly Father has for his children. It is the love of the Father that sent Jesus Christ to us. Whatever we receive is as a result of the love of our Heavenly Father. Jesus said our Heavenly Father will take good care of us when he assured his disciples in Matthew chapter 6 verse 26 to 34. To think of only Jesus as loving and God the Father as unloving is a misinterpretation of the truth of scripture. For Jesus himself said, I do not seek my own will but the will of the Father who sent me. John 5 verse 30. He also said to his disciples in John chapter 16, verse 26 to 27, And if I am to paraphrase, that a time is coming, he will not need to pray to the Father on your behalf. You will have to present your petitions yourself, for the Father himself loves you. Jesus also said in Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 to 11, that we should ask God the Father for every good thing that we need. But many times we go to God in prayer, we do not really believe God is going to grant us our request because we are not sure of his loving fatherly care for us. So we limit God by our own unbelief. It is sad that many Christians believe that God only hears and listens to general overseers, elders, pastors, and other mature believers, but neglect those who are not higher up the rank. And this is very, very sad. Every father is more likely to listen to his younger children than to his older children, and this is even so with God. I remember very well that when I was a young boy, my father used to tell me that God listens to children, so we should be praying for him. No wonder God says in Hebrews chapter 8 verse 11 that for all shall know me from the least of them to the greatest of them. Beloved, Please notice that the youngest are mentioned first, which means that even if you got born again today, God, our Heavenly Father, delight in paying attention and listening to you. Please don't see yourself as inferior. Scripture says in Psalm 84 verse 11, The Lord is our protector and glorious King, blessing us with kindness and honor. He does not refuse any good thing to those who do what is right. This assures us that God gives good gifts to his obedient children. So every time we pray, we must believe that we are approaching God as a father who loves and cares and who is interested in his children. It is also faith to believe that God is your father and he loves you dearly. Dear beloved, we cannot completely live the life we are called to live and finish the race we are running here on earth without first of all seeing God as our loving father and believing that his love for us exceeds every other love may our love for god continue to grow knowing that he loves us dearly amen